Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And what we're going to do today is going to fire up this 200S motor using the 200X ignition system. One of the first things I had to do is I had to put a coil on here. It did not have one. And I was very careful to make sure I cleaned up the frame, the coil, and the connector for that ground. See that green ground? So that was the first thing I did. Obviously, then the black wire with the yellow stripe goes right onto the coil, and that gives you, um, that's gonna give you your spark. Um, this ignition system was all here, but the problem they had is, this is how the wires come out of the 200, S and this is what they're expecting over here so they basically want to go from a multi-connector slide plug to a basically um, bullet connectors um, but if one could match up wires that's all it takes right black wire red stripes if the wires were long enough I could just plug those two in bang and bang right blue wire yellow blue wire yellow just hook those up green for ground one into the green here for ground one into the other side of the pulse generator the ground side by the way the blue is pulse generator and then the um, I use gray but into the wire harness it is that simple to hook it up. Basically, you have to match wires. Um, the yellow wire here is for the um, lights. Though the stator coil appears to be okay on this thing, um, the switch appears to be no good. Um, I'm able to light the headlight um, with the battery. Uh, the tail light is is gone, but if I run the lighting through this switch, I can't light high or low or anything else. So it appears as if my handlebar switch is shot. Um, as a matter of fact, and I have it um, disconnected. So the um, on and off doesn't doesn't work either if you start it up it just it just runs until you disconnect something so um stay tuned and we'll give this thing a start on the proper ignition system so to speak the 200s motor starting up on the 200x ignition system make sure you guys can see something Gotta love the go juice. It seems like if it, when it warmed up a little bit, it maybe sprayed around a little less. I also had this thing standing on its back tires, but uh, <laughs> there you go. A little oily sheen there. I should uh, next time I start it before I start it again, I should check the. Uh, wow. <laughs> 
neighbors are going to be talking. <laughs> I mean, what's that plume blown over from Spooner's place? Anyway, so you guys could see I got the um, 200S running on the 200X ignition system. I think this ignition system, the 200X ignition system, given that it's a little more high performance, I think it, they have a tendency to lean the spark uh, curve to be a little more advanced, even when the thing is um, um, just starting, right? So... Uh, that's that's kind of why I, I think it was fighting me a little bit. I took the plug out, though the plug was a little wet, as in oily. Um, the plug did not look, um, or the, you know, I pulled the string several times and there wasn't like oil and gas and starting fluid squirting out of it. So um, it wasn't, it wasn't hydro locked. It was just kind of when you pull the string you can't fool around you got to pull it like everything is uh important to you um i checked the breather here too I, you know put my finger over it and uh i think you guys could see it and the, the engine is breathing properly the only time it's run other than when you guys have watched it Maybe I started it up another couple of times quick, so eh, maybe only one other time. Yeah, when I was messing with the uh, lights to see what the story on the lights are, um, I started it up for that. Um, yeah, other than that, by the way, the story on the lights is this switch seems to be done. At the minimum, it needs to come apart and get cleaned. At the maximum, it, um, probably what it needs to do is be replaced. Like, it's very hard to move things, turn them on and off. Um, the stator coil for the lights appears to be good, and the lights appear to be good, but nothing seems to be coming through the switch. So I think... Um, I think the switch is, is done. So I did some troubleshooting there. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm sure it's going to trigger a bunch of questions. I'll do my best to answer questions. Typically, my videos get um, anywhere between 25 and uh, 50 um, um, comments and I, I do I do try to answer them some of the videos where questions are asked um, I'll have to ask for more information um, because if not now I got to ask or I got to answer well assuming the thing's been running the whole time I would check this first or if I don't know if it was running the whole time now I have to is your gas good <laughs> what your spark plug look like if it's been outdoors for a hundred years maybe your switches are all shot you know these switches y you know what I mean it's just it's just that when I'm asked a question sometimes um, a lot of the details help me and you could also see from the beginning of the video why I like to use my portable CDI box right the portable CDI box you know takes the handlebar switches the pulse generator the coil you know the harness all those grounds it takes all that out of the equation it's just a matter of do I have a good spark plug and do I have a good um, do I have a good pulse generator that's uh, at the correct timing anyway I hope this helped Everyone, please keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.